Now, YouTube family, we know a lot of rumors got spelled off when Young Dolph got killed. A lot of allegations, a lot of speculations, and it made us come up to certain points in our life where we were ready to believe anything and everything anybody who uploaded a video was the golden truth to us anybody on the news who spoke in Dolph's name in a wrong or good way we we're ready to pounce at them i mean this was a regular everyday spegular we were at the ready to go to war for the name of young Dolph. i remember this now only things and situations that would make us become more better closure was us knowing what happened to young Dolph. this is what caused enemies to be made with macadia's cookies factory i like to call them now what, what i'm talking about and i'm speaking about is the cookie shop i'm not one of the people to flat out to go out my way and say they're guilty they had something to do with it but i will say they did use the opportunity to benefit themselves into some cookie foundations for life meaning that with young Dolph's death this cookie is now is probably going to be a prominent main cookie for the next 50 years or more after that as well and i'm not mad get your money i'm not going to spread false allegations on the cookie people or nothing like that at all today while i'm making the video is to make them understand that people want to see that tape I think it's well within your rights you could release a tape even if it's part of an investigation or not because it happened at your shop and I might be wrong but I am going to say a lot of things are going to come down to the cameras inside the shop that's the main things we want to see is the cameras inside the shop there's a lot of rumors and speculations to what marcus thornton was doing people said young Dolph brother was inside in the back room he was outside at the time there's a lot of he says she says that the cameras can say now some of the workers been saying their own speculations you know what i mean some of the workers of that cookie shop have said certain things that kind of don't make sense or add up to me and not saying that they're guilty maybe they were emotional when the shooting happened and it took them off their comfort zone for a little bit but a lot of the speculations and what that cookie shop said is not leading on for me to believe about the camera situations because the, the there's been break-ins in the cookie shop before where the police have investigated it and the cameras got the roll all that like for instance the october 1st 2019 situation where macadia's homemade butter cookies said someone cost them nearly two thousand dollars in a break-in police responded to the store flagship's location on airways boulevard just before 6 a.m to find a smash front window now that's the same location where young Dolph got killed this is not the cookie shop that was in downtown you know memphis so it can't be no excuse being used this was a different situation no maybe it's someone didn't die that day but this was a crime situation yet again at the cookie shop now go check some of the videos i've made at, on the cookie shop uh, as far as break-ins and people robbing that cookie store so this has been multiple times i'm not acting like this hasn't been done before now this is what they're saying happened at that store they say that a worker arrived about a half hour earlier and discovered the burglary now i find it funny that we're always getting information from the workers not the main foundation family members not the main partners it's always some worker who never knows what's going on now this worker said that basically they came there and a worker arrived about half an hour earlier and discovered the burglary now often now that was weird too about in half an hour earlier they came by it, it's always some weird things behind it right that you you need to fire that worker if a worker come that early chances are allegedly motherfucker has something to do with it bro but anyways now they're saying that officers found a cash box and cash drawer on the floor behind the counter but the register was missing police say the last worker inside the store left around 7 p.m saturday the store had an alarm system and surveillance cameras but the door was still locked and the alarm didn't sound during the break-in macadia's homemade cookies 
recently celebrated 20 years in the business the owners say about 1500 basically you know worth of equipments was destroyed and about a 200 dollars in cash was taking the stone out the register but they didn't steal the oven and that's all that matters now for me to be honest this sounds like a ploy you feel me in the worst ways as far as alleged insurance scams but i don't want to just come off saying is that but i will say you know it, it's satisfying to see that people's sweet tooth needs are filled but it also hurts to know a lot of the things that get closure from the young Dolph case comes from this cookie store now we know they shut down the cookie store and that was them by their own discretions they wanted to close the store down they said the threats and fear and a lot of you know death and murder has been going on after young Dolph at his memorial we know even the guy who cleaned up the memorial for young Dolph got killed already now the cookie store made national headlines you know last November when Dolph was killed and gunned down at their establishment but just like Dolph Mem Memphians know how delicious the cookies were because they keep coming there they know the cookies were so delicious that the cookie store is now allegedly this is not even alleged because this is what they said to the news team WERG that they're going to try to go in wholesales to make it easier and that's gonna be what they can possibly do it's just going to a wholesale mode and that's the situation and how we can do it uh, according to what they were saying in their speculations but the cookie store needless to say has a lot facing towards them a lot dealing with them in the ineptitude i mean of failed policemen failed city aldermen failed officials i mean you're talking about a city that's been failed multiple times they've been failed in every way you can imagine now in the ways you can imagine it'll be like you know systematic systems of breakdown meaning that people are going to have their own speculations and think the cookie shops are the ones who did it like it's like when i tell people like my wife yo go call the phones are calling mom's is calling me go check why she's calling you know it's like go check why the cookie store is in on the news go check why the cookie store has made another interview today you know something about themselves again and has nothing to do with Dolph. this is what people are looking at everything you do your character uh, um your character flaws could be seen on that camera and and your character in a bad way could also be seen so people are going to take it as clout chasing by the cookie store i just take it as people who are not used to that type of fame they were used to a city fame but not national fame like that and they reacted in their own way and that's the, what you got you got a bad pr team that made themselves look like they were responsible but i think it had, they had nothing to do with it but the cameras will tell us everything we need to know from inside the shop it'll let us know was the speculation by the workshop workers full of lies bs i mean what but without further ado man y'all hit that like button y'all hit that notification bell i'm your guy dj bless one love your family love your kids and most definitely stay blessed <laughs>